Hi, it's Charity and welcome to the Tiny Town Challenge. This is a challenge originally put out by Deligracy and I'll link the video down below. So I'm going to play my own take on this as usual. It's not going to be exactly like the original, but it's going to be pretty close. So the first thing that I have done with the tiny town is basically fenced off each of the lots. Um, this is not exactly where the lot line will be, but it's approximate. And the reason why I did that is because I don't want the Sims to use other people's things. And I don't want them going and using things they shouldn't have access to. So I am starting with Cypress Handyman. And the reason why is because I want him to be the owner of this town. And handiness to me makes sense that he's the owner because it, as the property owner, he will have to fix things anyway. I'm going to use for rent because it makes it convenient for managing bills. However, we are not actually going to pay rent to Cyprus. So he is not going to earn money and he is not going to spend money. So right now he has no bills which is a benefit of having a residential unit that only has the unit that your sim is living in. So I did make this little building right here. This is going to be the move-in building, just so people have a front door, um, but I'm not going to put anything in this little building. He's not allowed to use it for storing items but it's just used as, used as a front door so that things like the welcome wagon and um, visiting different units is possible. And I will move this little building around to the current lot that's in progress. So the whole idea is that Cyprus is going to use only handiness. I gave him five simoleons to start with and these storage boxes were supposed to come with things, but they did not. Uh, there's a candle right here. I got rid of the candle making station because I think he should only get one skill building item for free and the other one he will have to earn and purchase. So for the common area, the entrance area, I did put out three selling tables. So depending on what type of sale you're doing, you can use a regular selling table, you can use the food stall or the painter's selling table. And the reason for that is that you don't make very much from your first items. So there needs to be a huge markup on it just in case you make something that's not worth five simoleons. I need to be able to sell it for a markup in order to make another one. And I'm not going to earn money through collecting. So basically Cypress can only earn money through his handiness skill or the fabrication skill. And I think maybe just candle making, but candle making really doesn't make any money. Uh, for fabrication, what we might do is get the fabricator. And the only thing with the fabricator is that it really doesn't fit Cypress's personality. However, there are limited spaces on this lot. So it's not like I can have a house for every skill. I'm even missing the uh, animal skill with like pet training and keeping chickens and llamas, sheep, cows. I wanted to have something like or horses too. I wanted to have something like that for this town, but it's just not enough space on a lot for it. And I have different lot challenges enabled. And so all of the lot challenges will be removed by completing the corresponding NPC that they're most closely associated with. So for example, Cypress Handyman is going to get rid of the off the grid lot challenge because he's going to install the connections to the plumbing and the electrical. And he's also going to enable house building. So by completing his house and maybe his aspiration I don't know maybe we'll do the aspirations too we will move on to the next family and I have this set on long lifespan so Cypress will be around for a while but I am also going to try to get him a partner 
and then have children with him so that hopefully there will always be a handyman household over here. Now it might not be Cyprus, but there will be a handyman household throughout the entire build challenge. So everyone has to have a family in this little town, unfortunately. You can't be a loner. <laughs> uh, otherwise, your family might die out or become vacant, and I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to make sure that no one is allowed to move in this little neighborhood. However, they will be allowed to have children and I, they can't earn, they can't have jobs. So basically they might have a job at first. Actually, I might get him a job as a handyman, but I'm not sure how much of that will make sense for every single person in town. And so they can't change jobs. Uh, Cyprus could potentially be a handyman and that's a part-time job. So that might make things move a little faster at first is if I get them jobs. Okay, we'll do the 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. shift and give him the handy person career. And that way he has a way of making money if for whatever reason he doesn't make enough money on his woodworking skill or I accidentally spend too much money. I think this job is perfect because it is a part-time job. It doesn't pay very much and it's not very often. It's only four hours a day and I think you could even work from home, which I might do if, I, if he works from home though. He makes almost no money. So this makes sense for him for as long as we're playing this household. But once we stop playing this household, we might have him quit the handy person career and just have no career because he's going to be the property owner. Oh, he actually needs to have gardening skill as well. Well, um, hmm, that may be a problem because it's not just handiness skill. We might allow him to build gardening skill though in like the community area and plant some plants but he's not allowed to make money from it so the first thing that we're going to do is accept the research repair techniques work assignment which i think you need a computer for that yeah we're not going to be able to do that maybe having a job is not a good idea oh and here comes the welcome wagon the only thing is Cypress is a perfectionist and that's actually a bad thing because he doesn't make things quickly. And we'll go ahead and say hello to the neighbors through the wall. Oh, the only option I have now is to scrap the woodwork. Well, that's dumb. Why can't I continue it? All right, I guess we'll try again. All right, and the knife block is worth 10 simoleons. So we could come over here and sell it on the selling table, or we could just sell it outright and make two more. <laughs> oh, we can now make a bar stool, a garden pot, a garden planter, an ancient wood wand, or a horse sculpture. I think we're going to make the horse sculpture because I think that is worth 20 simoleons. Yep, that one is worth 20 simoleons, which I'm not sure if it's even worth selling it on the selling table. Uh, I can't make furniture yet because if I make furniture, I have to sell it at a furniture store and I need enough money to purchase a furniture store. So I think we're going to stick with the ones that can fit on the selling table for now. And those are the only ones really that we can mark up. Okay, now we can make a bunny sculpture, a horse sculpture, an elephant sculpture, or a dragon sculpture. We can also make a mirror but we don't have enough simoleons. Oh, Lilith. Yeah, we don't really want vampires, but unfortunately, we are at a vampire nexus. I guess we'll go say hello. Now, since we are nauseated, we're actually going to go sleep for a little bit until the nausea wears off, and then we can make some more stuff. Okay, that's a quick little nap. Oh no, it's an earthquake or volcanic bomb. Uh, just an earthquake. 
Okay, Cyprus wants to like fitness. Sure, you can like fitness. Okay, now I'm at handiness level four. And I'm going to wait until he's completely exhausted or needs to eat again before we go to sleep. Oh, and of course, now he has creative fog from starting to burn out. Well, that's what's going to be difficult about this challenge. I might have to get him a chess table or something. Otherwise, yeah, that might be a problem. Okay, I don't think this job is going to work out. We're just going to quit the job. Okay, sleeping seems to also improve your fog. Okay, so maybe I can just do that. Oh, and now it's gone. Well, that's easy. Oh, no, earbuds. Should I just keep the earbuds as kind of like a way to increase it? Well, he doesn't need to increase his fun because this is actually fun for him. I think I should probably just get rid of the earbuds and not keep the money for it. We are doing pretty well for ourselves anyway. I think after this, I should have around 700 simoleons and that might be enough to buy some things. Um, I forgot I didn't have a place for trash. So, what I might want to do is get a dumpster. Oh no, now he's very uncomfortable. And of course, the meal that he had to eat made him even more uncomfortable. Okay, and I don't need to sleep. Alright then, what should we do? We can't finish our easel. Ah, dumpster is 540 simoleons. Maybe we should buy an outdoor shower first. Okay, now this one's not an outdoor shower, but it does have discomfort relief, which I need. Hey, Cypress, I'm in town for a while, and I was wondering if I could stay at your place for a few days. It'll be fun. Sure, it will. All right, Cecilia, hope you like sleeping in a tent. Oh, he wants to flirt for, with Lilith. Okay, the only thing is she's a vampire. She won't come around yet. Actually, I think I'm going to veto that. We do not want vampire babies on this lot. Actually, I'm just going to give him the dumpster because it's part of the common area. And I think that it's like a basic necessity that you be able to throw away your plates. All right, we have a small amount of simoleons. And since I have a stayover guest, what I might do is build a small little room over here that I could just put the shower in so that they can shower without being embarrassed. All right, and there's the beginning of our house. It's just a tiny little place, but at least they can shower and not have to worry about interrupting each other for it. Speaking of which, um, I need you to get it up, Cecilia. Oh, she actually goes and empties my trash. I was hoping she would do that. Yeah, for the woodworking skill, I think that it's best if you just sell it from your inventory because the only things that you can sell on the selling table are very cheap statues and so you're not going to get very much of a profit and it's going to take too long to get your skill up so my strategy here is going to be just make furniture and sell it for my inventory and then maybe when we get enough money to buy a retail store, we could work at the retail store. All right, our handiness is almost level six, but we're just level five right now. And we have 1100 simoleons. Yeah, I just didn't show any of the grind going and making a woodworking item and then selling it and then making another one and selling it. And what I don't like is that if there's a cross stitch box anywhere on a lot they will sims will autonomously try to use it i might have to get rid of that and actually i think if you get rid of it it still will attempt to do it where is it where is the cross stitch there it is yeah cross stitching doesn't make any money anyway i think i would rather have Ziggy yarn start, start with knitting instead of cross stitching, but we'll worry about that later. Well, the retail store I want to buy is 2,700 simoleons. 
So we have a little ways to go. We need about a thousand more simoleons. Plus we need at least a little bit of money to actually make some furniture for the store. Oh no, a lingering ghost is haunting the unit. Try to placate the possessing pest. All right, well, where are you? Oh look, it's feel excited. Okay, we'll confront the ghost and that usually doesn't work. Nope. All right, I have to do this about five or six times and then eventually he might go away. What if I introduce myself first? Will that make it more likely that he goes away? Okay, I introduced myself and he immediately went away, so maybe that helps. All right, we have enough money to buy the store now. Okay, here we are at Handyman's Furniture. So the first thing that we need to do, why does it say put in inventory? Can, can I not throw this away? All right, well, we bought a dump. <laughs> maybe I should be allowed to scavenge for parts. No, I'm just going to throw everything away. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is empty the trash. And for some reason, that puts me back at my <laughs> original unit. Okay, well, anyway. I should probably take a nap because I am tired. But first, I'm going to have a quick meal because I might get very nauseated and not be able to do my handiness skill. And that's no good. Yeah. Oh, no, we can't do the money thing. No, thanks. Vlad, what are you doing here? Um, he's going to try and drink my blood. I'm inside the tent. And <clears throat> Okay, he got me. Maybe. Um, yeah, even if you're inside a tent. Okay, now what you can do is if Vlad comes to your door in the middle of the night, you can wake yourself up. And if you do that, then he doesn't bite you. But unfortunately, I did not do it quick enough. You have to do it before he mesmerizes you. Great, and now I'm tired again. Oh no, Volcanic bomb. Um, that could be bad if it starts a fire in a place that I cannot reach. Okay, what I'm going to do is probably put these crystals and metals out here in the common area just for when I get the gem sim out here. I think that's probably not cheating if I found them with a previous sim to put them in the common area and allow the gym person to actually use those. Cecilia says I'm starving. Want to go grab dinner with me at the farm family restaurant? Okay, but we'll probably have to pay. I guess we could eat. We do have a little bit of hunger. All right, we're going to have water. And because I have to pay for everything, I might get her some cheesy bread and get myself some mac and cheese. Actually, mac and cheese is uh, cheaper. Let's just both get the mac and cheese because it's an actual dinner. Three simoleons, that's cheap. All right, I'm not upset at you, Cecilia, that you made me pay for dinner. You're crashing at my place and you take me out to dinner and make me pay. Okay, I can see Cypress liking hardworking Sims. She likes the color pink. Oh, and she's non-committal and an animal enthusiast. Maybe we should convince her to change her job. Where are you going, Cecilia? Are you going to pick up the food? Um, I think the waiters might be serving food. Nope, she's going somewhere to look at a tree. No, I think the waiters are serving the food. Although this is taking a long time. Why is it taking so long to get our food? Okay, Cecilia, I'm going to say that this is a date. Yeah, we're never getting our food. Look at all those plates. I think maybe the waiters are not here anymore. Or if they are, they're not doing... Yeah, there's a waiter here, but she's not doing her job. All right, now that I'm hungry... Oh, no, wait, there's food there. Is that our food? I saw two of them be put up there. Okay, come on. No, he went to the other table. Okay, yes, Cypress is romantic. He went to the other table. I'm going to go steal somebody's food. 
Because this is just ridiculous. Oh, come on. She's going to go get the food. Great. No. Give me the food. Give me the food. Ah, it's mine. Okay, I was here all night. At least I got something to eat. And I didn't have to pay. Oh, and it's love day. Well, what a coincidence. We do need some flowers, though. Well, never mind. I'm flirty, so we can give her a rose. And then maybe she will be our second date. She's angry for some reason, though. Oh, there's no place to sit. Oh, she's sitting, so it doesn't matter. Well, we actually met Letitia at the bar, but I'm not sure whether or not I recorded that part. So, yeah. Oh, we wanted to ask her out on a date, but we're on a date with her. First kiss. I actually had to do that for the date goals, because you can't kiss passionately unless you've done the first kiss. And I don't even know if I can do that now. Oh, there we go. Okay, sometimes the option doesn't show up for whatever reason. Okay, maybe we should ask Letitia, because I think Cecilia is noncommittal, and I'm not sure if that will work out so well. We don't know what her last trait is, though. What? Hey. I did not do that. Okay. Someone asked. I don't know if Cypress did or Letitia did, but that was autonomous. I did not select that. She's a recycled disciple. Okay. That may or may not be a good thing. Too late now. Okay. So now basically... We need to be best friends. Okay, we're going for a 100% markup. Oh, and now she's asking me out on a date. Well, um, I can't right now. I'm working. Oh, no, Cypress is a technophobe. Well, that's good for now since we're on and off the red lot. It won't matter later because we won't be playing his household once we get everything set up in his house built. Okay, so she's going to buy it. And that was 600 simoleons. And we're not going to do restocking of items. However, we will repair and sell these items that we randomly find that are left in our lot. Due to the landfill lot trait. Oh, I forgot Cecilia asked me about dating Wolfgang. Okay. And then I went on a date with her at a restaurant after she asked me about dating someone else. Well, we never kissed, so it was just a casual date, really. Perhaps we should ask her to just be friends. Oh, she's going to buy the bed. So the kid is going to buy the radio. Oh, now he decides to buy. All right, so I only have one thing to sell anyway. Wow, this lot is really dark without any light. So I have expanded Cypress's little shack here. So we have the bathroom in the back. And right now all we have is a shower and a light in there. There is a light, but you can't really tell because it doesn't really help that much. So anyway, and in the front room, we have a bed, his woodworking table and his cooler. So now everything is pretty much indoor except for the tent. And I'm going to say that we'll probably just leave the tent out here for now, just in case we have stayover guests, because that does happen. And we will just not sell the tent ever because the tent was given to us for free. So when we get rid of the tent, we can't get any money from it. So I might as well, for right now, just keep it as extra space. And what I might do is say that we have to expand this to include everything that a family might need. I don't think I will make Cypress's house two-story. So I think there's enough space here to make a very small cramped house that might have a kid's room and a nursery and all the stuff that we might need for children. Now, we don't have a wife yet because we need to marry our best friend. So I'm not sure about Letitia. Letitia is 
probably a good option for a wife because basically I think he just asked her or she asked him and they became boyfriend and girlfriend autonomously. So, you know, I couldn't stop it. The only option now would have been to break up with her and basically forget the relationship. So let's go back to the store and see if we can sell a few more things. Um, I haven't really started on his candle making skill. I'm not sure if candle making is going to be that profitable, to be honest. Okay, here we are at the store. I forgot that I actually used the bed that I crafted from last time. I have a mod that allows me to craft some more things. So I'm going to need to craft something now in order to sell. I think the most expensive item so far is the beds. Bess, no, we're not investing in your business ideas. Oh, someone left a refrigerator. Should I keep the refrigerator or sell it? Not sure if it really matches the vibe. I should probably just sell it. What would really help is if he was married and I had his wife doing the selling and then he just making furniture. It might be a little too soon for that though. Okay, I think it's not working now because he's uncomfortable. Okay, I think I sold the refrigerator, which is nice because I don't really need a refrigerator when I don't have an indoor space. If it rains, it'll just break again. Well, I think I'll take my profits from today and build a little store and clear out the dump. So we just need to make one more sale to have a little bit more options for that. Well, this is the end of the week for now. I'm not sure how many weeks we'll take to build up Cypress's house, but we do need to get him a family started because I don't want the family to die out. So this is Charity. Thanks for watching. <laughs>